Adam the Ant Plays presents, in partnership with the 34th Recon Fleet, Star Trek Online PC Tips. Today is part six. And we'll be talking about the seventh button on my minimap, PVE Task Force Operations. We will cover TFOs, dailies, and special events, also patrols, teaming up, and the grind in addition to showing you the official 34th Recon rotation. All right, let's start out. Where are we? We are number eight on the mini-map here, and this button will take us to the TFO menu. So let's check it out live in-game, of course. Ooh, look, a beautiful new ship. So this is my battle cruiser, and let's take a quick gander at it, because it's a thing of beauty, isn't it? Ooh, look at that. Delightful details. And even the name on the rear end, which is delicious. The aft, I should say. My goodness, I must use the correct terminology. And there it is. Uh, I love the ship. It's, I think it's sleek and quite beautiful. All right, enough of that. Off to the baton. All right, we're in the uh, task force tab. We'll start here first. Uh, I'm going to sort by all. And this is your all of the available TFOs that you have. Of course, all the sorting tools from space ground to all and difficulty is things you can mess with. You can make sure you're only doing, um, you know, a select. If I select that and I click that, then I'm only going to be sorting through the normal TFOs, which is probably a good idea. But it doesn't matter because I want to see them all to see what else is available. And uh, the other way you can sort this is by specific um marks so if for instance in the example in the document i have terran marks this is because maybe i need terran ships to accomplish something or something terran i can sort this way and i can further sort by space if i want to just see what's available in um, the terran areas of space and it'll take me there to those missions all right some of the other things to know are if you are alone or in a team the way the system works, as far as I am aware, is it will um, launch the mission with the most available people in queue. So, for example, let's say someone is out there and they choose to select Storm Chasers, the ground mission, and they click this button and they're waiting for this to launch. They are one person in the queue, and let's say there's someone else out there that says, hey, I want to join a random, and they click random, Chances are they're going to join that person waiting for their queue to fill because the game wants the, in the, these things to launch as fast as possible. So it's going to find someone and put you together. So that's how you would, if you want to launch one, you shouldn't have to wait too long because anyone in the game that's hitting random will team up with the person who's in queue already. Um, so the point of random is exactly that. You cannot search space and all and go on a random space mission, it will take you to a random mission. Now, you do, I do believe you wouldn't go to a random elite mission, uh, but I could be wrong. So maybe, maybe it's important to select this, select the difficulty, and then hit random. But I don't think it, it matters uh, as much as it, it might. Um, so that's how you launch them. Also, the important thing, let's look at the document so I don't miss anything. Uh, you want to join your one random a day because you do get better uh, rewards. You get a bonus reward for doing a random. So just make sure you click that random button. And then everybody who's in your team or group, when you click join, the team leader will initiate it. No one else has to do anything. The team leader will click. Everyone will see the prompt to accept. If you do not accept for, before the time runs out, you will be kicked from the group. and you will uh, not join your friends. So make sure you notice when that comes up, if you're doing inventory or something, it might pop up behind a window. So listen for the whistle and pay attention to this button. Hit accept and you're in. Once you leave the TFO, your entire team, if you had a group of people that you were l launching with, will now be unteamed and you have to reteam every single time. This is because the uh, TFO is going to bring in strangers and it doesn't want you to stay friends or remain in the team with those strangers 
so it breaks you up after the mission ends. Um, so you will have to regroup every time. Some games keep the team together, but I think more than often, uh, people don't want the pug. It's kind of awkward to be like, well, uh, thanks, bro, or thanks, person, but we're, we're, we're not going to hang out with you anymore, and it feels awkward to kick people. So I think the game just says, eh, it just resets it. I don't really know the logic behind it, but it can be a little bit um, uh, tedious if you don't remember, because then you're clicking on the next TFO, and then your friends aren't with you, and then you go and you launch, and you're like, oh, I have to get out now. So just make sure you re-team. Re um, all right. That is all of the stuff on this slide. The next one talks about patrols. So let's see if there's anything else here. I don't think there is. Uh, yeah, so let's move over to the patrol section. So in the patrol section, let's go take a look at the document. There's a lot to cover here. Uh, in patrols, this is a little bit different than TFOs, so be aware that each player on your team must select launch of the patrol that you're going to all be joining. Um, you can split up. So someone could click and go into a different patrol and you, the other people in the team can launch a different patrol and you can split up. I don't see any real reason to do that. Um, but if you're hanging out with friends and you want to do a different one with them, I, I guess you could. Um, you can AFK, let the other people do it. The way that patrols work is if someone, let's say there's a three person team and two of you launch with the launch button, the other person sits out because maybe they have to AFK for a minute and change a diaper then they can do that. It won't affect anything. The patrol still launches. The people who are in the patrol will complete it. If any time in the middle of that patrol, the person clicks, they will um, join the patrol in, a, in uh, progress. So uh, it's great for fast XP, power leveling, ship masteries, um, carries, farming for loot, all that kind of stuff. And we will show you more about the details of setting up your team settings so that way you can optimize the speed at which you're looting and things. And I, I'll show you that. That's another tab on the minimap. So um, in this case, uh, you pretty much want to loot over DPS if someone's being carried. Let the powerhouses take care of the work, the heavy lifting. You can you know do whatever you want to do as you're leveling up, but it's not that important um, to, you know, it's up to you, but looting over DPS in the grind sort of, sort of mentality. Um, this is the official 34th Recon rotation. We do Ninth Trouble, Redemption, and Wanted. Uh, let me... I can't highlight these. I'll highlight them on the, on the document when it goes up. And the other... It'll tell you why we do these. Now, just to be clear, the reason we have a rotation is because there is a 30-minute cooldown on all of these. So you want to be able to get through them fairly quickly with time in between to do to clean up your inventory. If it's a big loot run for someone, they might have to manage their, their inventory a little bit, and that's fine. They can do that on the fly. If you go Ninth Rule, Trouble, Redemption, and Wanted, you should be right back at the top to go back to Ninth Rule, and the timer should be cleared for you and available to launch. It's grayed out if you're on the timer wait, but this will clear in a second, uh, or you could just refresh it. And there you go, ninth rule is ready to go again. So um, the in TFOs also, the, the person who is the team leader will set the difficulty. So even if someone else on the team is set to advanced, the person who is the team leader will dictate what the actual um, difficulty is. It, it doesn't change for each person, even though it looks like it does. When you mouse over the team, there's a very top section and it'll show you the it'll if you hover over it it'll tell you what difficulty you're on regardless of what the icon shows you so it's kind of something interesting but the team leader will will modify that um and there's no reason to sort by quadrants or whatever that doesn't matter just go by all patrols you are also welcome to run all of them if you want to check them out there's a reason i've selected the four i've selected that's because i run all of them and just decided on the fun and speed and uh, some of the mission um, goals or, or the mission, um, uh, it, the way that they, they are laid out. I like these in particular that we picked because of their speed and um, uh, enemy 
Sometimes they'll have like a nebula and you don't have shields. There'll be a, a weird little factors that, that can be, um, that can affect your enjoyment. So pick and choose, do the ones you like. There's no reason to not have fun. And if one of the ones I suggest is not fun for you, then yeah, find, find another one. Nothing wrong with that. Um, that is all for the TFOs and patrols. The last two tabs, PVP and private. I seriously do not ever uh, click them or go into them. I've never tried them, so I have zero knowledge. We might have to keep this for another video, or maybe someone can find a resource, someone who loves doing PvP or the private queues. I believe this is a way to have like less people than five, uh, but I could be wrong. So if I wanted to do bug hunt with me and my friend in a team, I believe this is how I would do it, but I don't, I don't want to talk about it because I don't honestly know. Uh, anyways, uh, one more view of my entirely beautiful ship. And thank you once again for joining me. Do all the YouTube things, the smashing, the liking, the subscribing, whatever you need to do. Uh, I appreciate you so much. Thank you for watching these videos. If you have uh, all my contact information is below and all the documents will be easily accessible as well. So take care of yourselves and have a wonderful rest of the day. Thanks again.